This morning practice will not only build more strength and flexibility in your body, but also more confidence and courage to allow the joy that's in your heart, because it's in there, to flow more freely into your life. So for practice today, you'll need one block or anything like a block that will support your weight and also a yoga strap. If you don't have a strap, you can use a belt or even a rolled up dish towel or t-shirt. So go ahead and place those off to the side and let's begin where I love to start all my classes with some calming breath. Just a few minutes of calming breath in the morning will welcome more inner peace and stillness and mindful awareness that will last your whole day. So why not start your day that way, right? Uh, Today we're gonna work with a breath called Samavritti breathing, and that simply means an equal length inhale and an equal length exhale. Sometimes with this breath, you can hold your breath at the top and bottom, We're not gonna do that, we're just gonna inhale for a count of four through the nose and exhale for a count of four through the nose. We'll do that for a few cycles and then we'll just sit and enjoy the effects. For right now though, we're just gonna sit and breathe normally and then when we get to the Samavriti breathing, I will guide you through that, okay? So find a nice comfy seat to feel rooted and grounded, feel Mama Earth supporting you. Sit up nice and tall, lift the heart, open across your heart and your chest so that your lungs have capacity to breathe. Nice tall spine, crown of the head to the sky, shoulders melt from the ears and close your eyes. And just breathe normally in and out through your nose and observe your breath and feel your breath and relax into your breath. Not trying to do anything right now, just let the body breathe you and watch. What a wonderful, magical thing the breath is, right? Feel the sensations of breath entering the nose, filling the lungs and body with oxygen and energy and life. And every exhale, relax and feel anything tense and stressful leaving your body, melting and dissolving into your breath. Relax across your brow, your forehead. Relax from your eyes to your ears. Feel your cheeks soften, relax your jaw and your tongue. And with each exhale, continue to sit tall, but feel a melting sensation down the jaw into the neck and shoulders. Tension leaving the body. Breathe in space. Morning sunshine. Let's move into our Samavriti breathing. So we'll inhale for a count of four through the nose and exhale for a count of four through the nose. As you breathe in, breathe into your low belly. Relax and feel the low belly expand. And as you exhale, just relax. To begin, let's take a great big breath in through the nose, fill with breath. Open mouth, exhale to relax. And inhale through your nose for one, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, four, three, two, one. Inhale through the nose, one, two, three, four. And exhale through the nose, four, three, four two, one. Inhale through the nose, one, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, four, three, two, one. Inhale through your nose and continue just like this with your own count at your own pace. And relax more and more with each breath Breathe in blue sky, sunlight, new possibilities.
on your next inhale take the biggest breath you can fill your body with breath and hold at the top try to sip in a little bit more air and hold for four three two one open mouth exhale relax and come back to a normal breath in and out through your nose let's just sit quietly for a few moments Let's begin our practice with some words of self-love and affirmation. And we're going to work with a special hand position or mudra today so you can blink your eyes open. Uh, so flip your palms around to face you, fingers spread wide, and then cross the hands so that your thumbs hook and you have little wings. This is called Garuda Mudra. Place Garuda Mudra over your heart. Garuda Mudra symbolizes freedom and power, the freedom and power to realize the truth of who you are and to live from that place of courage and love. So go ahead and close your eyes with your Garuda wings over your heart. I'll say these words out loud and you say them silently to yourself. Here we go. I am whole, nothing is missing. I am free. Everything is possible. I am loving awareness. May these truths give me more confidence and courage to guide my every step. And you can let your hands fall to your knees. Let's just sit for a few more moments and welcome the power of these words into your heart. And slowly blink your eyes open. Let's just take some upper body circles. This is a nice way to welcome some space into the low back. Nice little stretch in the hips. So just roll around in a circle here, any direction, any way that feels good to you. There's no rules here. You can let the upper body be soft. I like to push and pull on my knees a little bit. That feels good to you. Big, full breaths. Breathe into your low back, into your hips. And let's switch it up. Take it in the opposite direction. I always start my morning with these little spinal rolls. It just feels so good. Mmm. Yes. All right. Sit up nice and tall. Bring the soles of your feet together and draw the heels a little closer to your sit bones so that you feel a nice little stretch in the inner thighs. Bring your hands behind you. Plant your hands and then lift your sit bones. Push your hips further forward so that you feel a nice stretch in the inner thighs and hips. Not too much, but just enough, right? Press the outside edges of the feet together and then push the thighs down to the ground to open the hips. At the same time, push into your hands, pushing your heart to the sky. Draw the shoulders back and down from your ears and feel the heart open and the upper back start to extend. I like to roll my head around here a little bit, breathe. Take whatever little wiggles or movements in your body that feel good and sweet to you. and blink your eyes open. Make your way to a tabletop. Knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders, and curl your toes under. We're gonna work into a little modification of cat-cow here. So the toes are curled under. 
As you inhale, wrap the elbows in, slight bend in the elbows, sink the hips back toward the heels a little bit, and with the elbows bent, I want you to grip the mat and imagine the hands are magnetically pulling toward the knees. So as you grip the mat, pulling the mat towards you, push your heart forward, shoulders back and down from the ears. Feel that stretch and length in the low back. And then as you exhale, heart and hips come forward, push into the earth. Let's move like this with the breath. Inhale, hips back, grip the mat, push your heart forward and exhale, hips come forward, push into the earth, round through the upper back. Mm, this feels good. This feels like gives your upper back a little um, extra love here with this shape, I feel. And again, welcome any of your own little wiggles and joyful movements into this practice. Let go of any notion that yoga is a rigid thing with, filled with rules and doing it right. Yes, there's... There's some guidelines, there's some invitations, but listen to your body. It's all about cultivating a more loving and knowing relationship with ourselves. Mm, good stuff. Coming to stillness, um, untuck the toes for a moment and just tap the tops of your feet on the mat. Release any tension in the bottom of the feet and then retuck the toes. Lift the hips, push back to downward dog. Welcome your hands and feet to move around a little bit here, dialing in a sweet spot for your downward dog and pedal your feet, bending one knee, draw the opposite heel down to earth, breathe into the low back, breathe into the hips, send your breath down the backs of the legs. And coming to stillness, let's take a great big breath in through the nose, open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Bring your feet together and take your right foot back and up to the sky, keeping the hips nice and level as you lift the right foot. Exhale, right knee into the chest and step through between your hands. Bring the back knee down, untuck the back toes and rise up with your hands on your hips. From here, tilt the bowl of the pelvis up. So front points of the hips lift up, tailbone lengthens down. And keeping that position of the hips, crawl your front foot forward a couple inches. Move that front knee forward to come over the ankle and feel that nice stretch in front of the left hip here. Keep doing that, crawling the front foot forward, moving the knee to come over the ankle until you feel a good amount of stretch for you. Square the hips and chest forward, press gently into the top of that back foot. And let's take Garuda Mudra once again. So wings with your fingers, palms facing you. Hook the thumbs and place those wings over your heart. Push the heart gently forward, shoulders draw back. So imagine the wings lifting your heart up toward the sky. Breathe. As you inhale, sweep your hands up to the sky. Open mouth, exhale, bend the elbows, push the heart forward, squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. And let's come back to Garuda Mudra. Once again, settle, breathe and relax. And one more great big breath. Inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky. Open mouth, exhale, bend the elbows. This time, hands come down, frame that front foot, curl the back toes under and lift that back knee. Step your front foot back, coming into downward dog. As you inhale, wave forward to plank pose. Bring more weight to the right hand and dip the hips and heels to the right. Rolling to your right, sweep that left hand up to the sky. Side plank. So notice both feet are on the ground here, right? Left foot in front of the right. As you exhale, dip your hips and reach the left hand back. As you inhale, reach that left hand up to the sky. One more time, exhale, dip the hips, reach back. And inhale, lift the hips. This time, sweep that top hand all the way over down to the ground, back to plank pose, and let's roll to the other side, dipping to the left this time. Right foot in front, right hand to the sky. Exhale, dip the hips, reach the top hand back. Inhale, reach up and lift the hips. One more time, exhale, dip. 
and inhale. Lift the hips, sweeping that top hand all the way over back to plank pose. And as slow as you can, elbows close to your sides, lower all the way down to your belly. Awesome job. Untuck the toes and sweep your hands around behind you. Interlace your fingers behind your back. We're gonna work into a little baby back bend, a little baby shalambasana here. So as you inhale, lift the head and shoulders and the heart and lift your toes just a little bit. Little baby back bend here. Draw the knuckles toward those heels to open up the heart. Breathe and just lift the thighs or lift the toes and the heart a little bit, just enough to feel it. Breathe and exhale slowly lower. Excellent. Let's find our way back to child's pose. Knees wide, big toe mounds come to touch. Sink the heels back, or the hips rather, back to the heels and let your forehead find the earth and just rest and breathe. Feel into this ground energy. Stable, at ease. Inhale, come forward, tabletop, curl the toes, and lift the hips, downward dog. Let's do the other side, feet together. Inhale, take that left foot up to the sky, nice and high. Exhale, knee into chest, and step through between your hands. Back knee comes down, untuck the back toes, and rise up, hands to the hips. Same thing here, tilt the bowl of, tilt the bowl of the pelvis up. Crawl your front foot forward. Move the front knee to come over that ankle. And just keep on doing that until you feel a good little stretch in front of the right hip here. Once you find your sweet spot, let's find Garuda Mudra. Hook the thumbs, wings over the heart. And again, imagine these wings lifting the heart. Little baby arch in the upper back. Breathe, big full deep breaths into the heart and into the hips. Inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky. Great big breath. Open mouth, exhale. Let it go. Back to Garuda Mudra. Wings over your heart. Settle in. Press gently into the top of that back foot. And one more time with the breath and the arms. Inhale, sweep up to the sky. Spread your fingers wide. Big open mouth, exhale. Push the heart toward the sun. Exhale, hands come down, frame that front foot, lift the back knee, and step the front foot back to plank pose. As you inhale, wave your body forward to plank pose. More weight to the right hand. Let's dip and turn a little bit to the right. Heels and hips dip to the right, left hand to the sky. Exhale, dip the hips and reach back. Inhale, lift the hips and reach up toward the sky. Feel the push through the bottom hand. Exhale, dip it one more time. And inhale, lift the hips and sweep the top arm all the way up and over plank pose. And we dip to the other side. Find a nice stable position first. Push into the earth. And as you exhale, dip the hips and reach back with that right hand. Inhale, lift the hips and reach up to the sky. One more time. Exhale, dip and reach back. And inhale, lift and reach up and over to plank pose. And again, firm the belly, the core, the thighs, the glutes, and slowly lower down all the way to your belly for another baby shalambasana. Untuck the toes, interlace the hands behind you. Draw the knuckles toward the heels, shoulders from the ears. Lift the heart, lift the toes, and just breathe into this. Every inhale, lift. Every exhale, lengthen, heart forward, toes back. One more big breath in, lift, and exhale, release, and we'll find our way back to child's pose once again. Nice and easy. Relax and feel grounded, solid and stable. Inhale, come forward to tabletop. Grab your block and put it a few inches in front of your mat and come to downward dog. Let's take a few breaths here, pedal the feet, recalibrate. Feet together, inhale, take the right foot back and up to the sky, nice and high. Exhale, knee into the chest and step through between your hands. Keep the heart lifted off the front thigh. 
slight baby bend in the back knee and push into the ball of the back foot. Both feet are facing forward here. Inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky. As you exhale, slowly twist open to the right. Keep twisting. And a little more of a bend in that back knee as you flip the front palm and let's take it up and reverse it into a little baby back bend here. Right hand alongside the back thigh and lift up through the heart. I know it feels a little unstable as we take it back. Just take it to the place that feels good in your body. If you fall over, it's okay, right? <laughs> Exhale, windmill the hands down, frame that front foot, spin the back heel down, and align the heel of the front foot with the arch of the back foot. As you inhale, windmill, the hands open, warrior two. Get a nice long stance so the front knee comes over that front ankle, ankle, <laughs> and the front knee is pointing straight ahead. Roll to the outside edge of the back foot. Relax the hands, breathe. We're gonna move from here into half moon pose. Make it up like it's easy. Have fun with this, right? If you fall over again, it's okay. You just come back, play. So block is in front. We're gonna bring our hand to the block, push off from the back foot, bringing the right hand to the block. Open your hips to the left here. So the left toes are pointing straight off the side of the mat. Keep your gaze down, reach your left hand to the sky. And you can make the block as high as you need. Right? I like it on the very highest setting. You can stay here, or if you want to play, you can slowly take your gaze up to the lifted hand. Again, falling over here is part of the joy of the practice, right? Welcome a little silliness, a little play, self-discovery into your practice. That's what it's all about. It's not about doing it right. It's not about looking good. Look down to the bottom hand, and let's float back to warrior two. Awesome job. Flip the front palm, take it up and back, and as you exhale, windmill the hands down, frame that front foot, low lunge. Step the front foot back to downward dog. And as you inhale, wave your body forward to plank pose. Slowly lower all the way down to your belly, untuck the toes for a little cobra. Push into the heels of the hands, lift the heart, lift the upper body. Exhale, push your heart forward, draw the shoulders back and down from the ears. Exhale, lower. <laughs> Hips to heels, child's pose. Sweet, let's do it on the other side. Inhale, come forward, tabletop, curl the toes. Lift the hips, feet together. Left foot, back and up to the sky. Exhale, knee into the chest and step through between your hands. Lift the heart off that front thigh. Little baby bend in the back knee as you sweep your hands to the sky. Crescent lunge, nice and strong. Exhale, let's twist open to the left, reaching the left hand back. Keep twisting. And then a little more of a bend in that back knee as you flip the front palm and reach up and back. Again, I know it feels a little unstable, right? It's part of working on balance and, and play. Exhale, windmill the hands down, frame that front foot back to a low lunge, spin the back heel down, align front heel with back arch, and then another great big windmill of the arms takes us up to warrior two. Same alignment here, nice deep bend in the front knee. Front knee over that front ankle. Relax the shoulders and breathe. Let's float from here, finding our joyful half moon. Okay, here we go. Push off from the back foot. That left hand finds the block. Open the hips to the right. Right hand to the sky. So here we are. Nice long spine. Gaze is down. Find some stability. And if you want to take your gaze up, you can do that. If you want to keep your gaze down, you can do that too. Listen to your body. Listen to what feels good. And just go with it. <laughs> Welcome the experience as it unfolds, right? And slowly take your gaze back down. And let's float back, warrior two. Whatever happened there, I invite you to welcome some ease and some, some 
joyful expression into your practice that is not about looking good. It's about feeling free, right? Free. That's what we're about today. Flip that front palm, take it up and back. And exhale, windmill the hands down, frame the front foot, low lunge, step the front foot back, and let's find downward dog. As you inhale, wave your body forward, plank pose, you're free to come down to your belly and take a, a cobra to child's pose, or you can come with me, chaturanga to upward dog. So lowering halfway down, chaturanga, elbows close to the sides, roll over the toes, lift the heart, Thighs remain lifted, heart forward, shoulders back. And exhale, roll back over the toes and lift the hips, downward dog. Nicely done. Let's come down to the knees and we'll all meet in child's pose for a few breaths. Relax, feel grounded, spacious, connected to your breath and to your body. As you inhale, come forward to tabletop. Um, you might want to grab your block and have your block handy next to you. Curl the toes under. Oh, first, take your knees and feet a little wider than your hips here. Then curl the toes under, lift your knees, and walk your hands slowly back towards your feet. Keep the heels lifted so you're in a nice little squat position here with the heels lifted and your block is great because you can bring your block back towards you, get nice and tall through the heart. Heart forward, shoulders back, breathe. It's a great stretch for the hips and a great stretch for the um, calves and the plantar fascial tissue under the feet. Now, if it feels good or accessible, you can come to your heels, hands, to the heart and a little primal squat, malasana squat. If this is a challenge, place a blanket under your heels or you can hold this block out as a counterweight. That's uh, sometimes very helpful. And just sitting in this primal squat position is so therapeutic for the low back, for the hips. It helps with sciatica, it helps with so many um, chronic low back issues. <laughs> so if we can come to Malasana, even if the heels are lifted a little here, that's cool. And just spend a few moments here. It's really good. And come forward back to tabletop and sweep your legs around in front of you and come all the way down to your back. Grab your strap. Have your strap off to the side. Let's just give ourselves a great big sweet hug first. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a little rock side to side. Extend the right leg long. Squeeze the left thigh into your belly. And let's go back and forth here. Right thigh squeezes in. Left leg extends. A couple times back and forth. Knees together. Feet wide on your mat. Just let your knees wash back and forth. And now let's work into a little twist. Um, this is a great place to end our practice with a little twist. So grab your block, scoot your butt to the right and let that right knee fall across the body, finding the block. And you just choose the height of the block that works for you. Left hand on top of that right thigh, lift the left shoulder, scoot that left shoulder to the left until the right shoulder can find its way all the way down to the mat. I always feel a little crack there, it's good. And now if it feels good, you can either bend that left knee, grab the top of the left foot, or you can just reach the right hand out to the side, it's up to you. Close your eyes, breathe, relax. Exhale, release that bottom foot, roll to your back. Stretch both hands overhead, 
really reach and lengthen from your fingers to your toes. Great big breath. Open mouth, exhale. Ah, let your whole body melt and relax for a moment. And blink your eyes open. Let's do the other side. Bend that left knee. Scoot your butt to the left. And let the left knee fall across your body, finding the block. Right hand to that left thigh, lift the right shoulder, scoot it to the right. Left shoulder comes all the way down in your choice of what you want to do with that left hand. I like to grab the top of the opposite foot here. Relax and breathe. As you exhale, release the foot if you have it, roll to your back, and let's all find a sweet Shavasana together. Begin to bring some life into your fingertips, your fingers and toes. Roll your wrists and your ankles. Inhale, reach your hands overhead. Great big stretch from the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. Feel life and breath, possibility flowing through you. Feels good. Exhale, knees into the chest and roll to your right side. Push yourself up to a seat, the top of your mat. Bring your palms together at your heart. Close your eyes. Let's raise our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow, and we bow to one another all over the world, practicing together in this moment. I bow to you, we bow together. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed that class. And if you did, I've got a free gift for you that I think you're really going to love. It's a full one hour slow flow practice to help you build full body strength and flexibility, relax your mind and fill your heart with a great big smile. It's one of my favorite classes from the new David O Yoga membership and app, and I'd like to give it to you for free as my gift. All you have to do is click the link in the video description below that says free gift, enter your email address, and voila, your free class is immediately available for you to enjoy. I think you're gonna love it. And if you liked this video, please click the like button, leave a comment. I really love reading your comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel. Thank you, and I hope you love your free gift.